Hey everyone, Jen Russo Davis here, successwithjendavis.com. This is day nine of my 90 day video blitz and I wanted to talk to you about something that I just read. I'm reading the book Psycho-Cybernetics and I'm reading it a second time because it is so powerful and chock full of concepts and information that I feel like some books you have to read a few times and you grab something different and something new every time you read it. And so today I was reading about um, people feeling inferior and it always breaks my heart because so so many people out there feel like they are inferior or not, not worthy and you know I know I felt that way for so long so long and it took me a, a long time and a lot of work to lift that burden from my own shoulders so whenever I can I like to help others do that as well and what it was talking about was how we make up this story basically that we need to be like everybody else quote unquote see that um, and really you know who the hell is everybody else anyway I mean I'm thinking about a group that I work with right now in the deep abyss we're called the deep abyss it's a great group where we talk about really deep concepts and really reach inside ourselves and release either what's blocking us or anything that we are grappling with on the inside and learning some great concepts. Right now, most of us are sharing our story. So this is our, about our lives and you know the challenges we've been through and what we've overcome. And we jokingly have been calling it letting our freak flag, freak flag fly. La, <laughs> can't say it this early in the morning. And I just you know it just hit me now that you know it, it's a funny joke, but really there's no freak flag. I mean it, everybody has their own story. Everybody's stories have some pretty heavy duty stuff that they went through. And so really, I guess either we're all freaks or really nobody's a freak. We're holding ourselves and calling ourselves freaks against a standard that there's a normal, but there really isn't. There is no normal. This is just life and it's messy for almost everyone. And I guarantee you, probably everyone, if people are telling you that, that it's not messy, they're either lying or I would say this. If you see somebody who seems to be having an easy time of it, in life, I guarantee you, number one, you don't know what goes on in behind closed doors, so you don't know what they've been through. But just for argument's sake, let's say they do have an easy time of things in their lives and they seem to be going forward, you know, stress-free and powerfully. My guess is that they've learned a few things. Number one is they've learned to have really good habits in all areas of their lives, and they set high standards for themselves. So I would look at things that you are stressed about or you're not happy with or you're feeling like it are not going the way you want it to in your life and say, you know, have I developed some bad habits around this, right? Because say, you know, if you're tr stressed about your finances and you, you think it stinks, you're not where you want to be. Well, how did you get to where you are? Because it's been said that where we are is a product of our best thinking. So somewhere along the line, you developed bad habits and it's just a matter of changing them. Change those habits, replace them with the good ones and that takes time. Love yourself, be patient. And that comes with setting a higher standard for everything. For the way you feel, for the way you work, for the way you love, for the way you play, the way you, I mean, everything, right? And the first place that starts with is realizing that you are worthy of it. You're worthy to have it all. There's no inferiority. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent, right? And, you know, there are people who are going to be doing different things than you. There are people that are further along than you in some areas of life or whatnot. And there, no comparison. Don't compare yourself to them. Even if you're, you know, I'm just gonna use an example of doing a home business. You might look at a, a, an in, industry leader like a Diane Hawkman or, Ray Higdon and say, oh my gosh, I'm, I am just an inferior marketer and uh, I'm just not like them. And some people take that really inside and say, I'm an inferior person. They translate it to I'm an inferior person instead of, yeah, you know what? I'm not, I'm not as much, I'm not as high level of a marketer as they are because they have worked their butts off. They have learned skills and they've implemented and succeeded. But the good news is you can too. It doesn't mean it's, you're an inferior person. It means that you have or maybe an inferior skill set, but it's, it's easily fixed. You learn. And sometimes there are people have skill sets that, that you don't have that you don't need to learn. Like for example, I don't want to be a heart surgeon. There are plenty of people who are out there who are amazing heart surgeons and that's okay. It doesn't make me an inferior person, but it means I don't have the skill set. And so I'm going on a bit of a tangent, but you get, what, you get the idea. Decide that you're worth it. Okay, look at your life and then decide what habits do I need to change to bring my life into a better place into the next level. 
And that starts by raising your standards, not tolerating anything less than what you want. And I guarantee you, start with the littlest thing. Don't get overwhelmed and try to do it all at once. Start one by one and I guarantee you will start to see that it will make a snowball domino effect and you will see amazing things start to happen, okay? So trust me, I've been through it and I, I'm crafting my story right now. I'm, I'm, I'm crafting it so someday I can share as well. But remember, you can let your freak flag fly because there are no freaks. This is life, baby, and we've all gone through it. So love who you are. And I will see you on the next video, successwithjendavis.com.